she is asking, is nutritional yeast a bad idea if you have gut issues? And I saw this come up in another group as well that I'm in. Um, it's a pediatric group, and the parents there were, were worried about taking something with yeast in it and uh, because of some gut issues. Because we, we've heard of candida or yeast infections, and we see yeast in other things. So we see yeast in certain supplements. We see yeast, nutritional yeast. And there's actually a beneficial yeast called Saccharomyces boulardii that you can take that is, is good for a gut. It's like a probiotic, but it's a yeast instead of a bacteria. So just a different type of, of bug. Um, but no, it's it's not a bad idea. It can be good. And it's totally different than the yeast like candida that's found in overgrowth issues in the gut. So when you have a yeast infection in the gut, or if you have thrush with it, which is a yeast infection of the tongue where it gets white, or a uh, vaginal yeast infection, things of that nature, totally different organism, totally different type of yeast. Um, so no, you don't have to worry. Nutritional yeast is really high in B vitamins. Uh, some whole food vitamins will use different types of yeast to grow vitamins in. And basically what they feed them is certain foods or certain feed with a high amount of those nutrients. And then when the yeast eats them and consumes them, it gets taken up into the yeast. So that's a way to get whole food version of a vitamin versus synthetically making, let's say, ascorbic acid in the lab. So you'll see yeast in some supplements. And uh, in my opinion, as far as I know, uh, there's no issues with that, even if you have yeast infections or you're being treated for yeast problems.